my loves, welcome back to another video. Today is food prep day at the Singh residence and I'm ready to show you our food prep. This will hopefully give you plenty of ideas on how you can implement a similar system in your home. I wish to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. To begin with, I want to say that I'm doing a little more than usual because we are in an extended lockdown, yet we are fortunate to be together. So with everyone home, I definitely have to plan. If I fail to plan, I'm planning to fail. Now in a cosmopolitan household, everyone has a different palate, making it quite difficult to meal plan. So I prep for my cooking needs and also for my mini adults so they can grab dinner at their own time or fix a quick meal of their choice. I try to cater for everyone with this system that I have been using. To begin with, I'm going to do the proteins. I basically prep meat, seafood, eggs, tofu, and put together with our staples, these make quick meals. Now I'm gonna do the proteins first because I prefer to get them back into the refrigerator as soon as I can. I have some chicken over here, which I have cubed, and to that I'm going to add some garlic ginger paste and yogurt. Now I just mix everything well and move along. For the meat, I'm using balsamic vinegar, soy sauce, brown sugar with salt and pepper, and I'm adding some freshly squeezed lemon juice to that. And that is done. I also have a full fish here. This is a pomfret, and I have rubbed it with some salt and turmeric to get rid of any odor. When I want to cook it, all I need to do is defrost and fry. It cuts down my daily prep time considerably and daily cooking mess drastically. I have been using these IKEA containers for quite a while now and they are proven to be freezer safe. So this is what I'm going to carry on using. I have also shelled and deveined some prawns for the same reason. And while on proteins, I also pop some tofu into the air fryer to increase the shelf life. These won't go sour so quickly this way. And another must-have is hard-boiled eggs. These are so versatile and they can be used in so many ways that it's a must in our household. Each week, we change up the menu and the prep changes slightly, but the basics that I do are always the same. Next, I do the carbs. We do make rice almost daily, but I like having a little extra so anyone feeling hungry can have a hearty meal. And if no one eats it, that's fine. There is always fried rice to the rescue. I also pre-cook pasta so it's more convenient for the family. And I usually keep about two portions handy. So here I have some long pasta for today. And here are some of the things that I do every week. I get out all the older vegetables from the previous week and I salvage what I can. I chop up any leftovers so that I cook those first. And I also chop up some peppers and mushrooms, which are my son's go-to.
It's important to line your containers with paper towels to absorb the moisture. This makes everything just last longer. And I also try to salvage as much of the herbs as I can. So I just chop up all the extra spring onion, coriander, mint, basil, whatever you have on hand. Add a little oil and then use some ice trays with lids to store them in the freezer. I just drop these into the pot at cooking time. Another must have is curry paste. I make a batch to last us about 10 curries or so. I use this silicon tray to store the curry paste as it is exactly the amount we need for one meal. Now, since this task requires me to grab my food processor and chopper, I do this once maybe every fortnight. And alongside, I also make any dips or spreads that I want to for the fortnight. Now, we still have a little coriander and cashew spread from two weeks ago. So I'm just going to try and finish that. And for this week, I'm making a cream cheese spread. Now, it costs so much less to buy plain cream cheese than to get one of those gourmet ones. So I buy this, which is about 30% the price of the artisan one, and I get creative with it. So here I have sauteed some onions, green chilies, and carrots. I'm going to mix in the cream cheese and then add some salt and pepper and give it a good stir. Stored properly in airtight containers, this easily lasts two to three weeks. And if you like, you can also pop in some celery or bacon or even salmon bits. You have to give this a try because let me tell you, it's absolutely delicious. Now, should you have any leftovers, try to incorporate those into the prep. We have this coleslaw leftover from last night. No one's going to eat it. So I'm just going to add some tuna, salt and fresh lemon juice to this and I kind of know it will be gone by tomorrow. The fact is that these mayo spreads are very popular in most homes because they are such an easy way to prepare a sandwich or to have with just crackers. Next time, I will replace this maybe with some egg mayo if I have leftover hard-boiled eggs, and that's how I keep the rotation going of always incorporating leftovers into something a little different. Now, when it comes to storing, I just remove the organizer and replace it with the containers that I have prepped. I keep only a little meat at the time in the refrigerator and keep the rest frozen until needed. This way, there is no wastage. Another very important task for us rather to prep is a basic salad. I chop butter hit, spinach or any mixed salad that I have available. I add some olive oil which I massage into the leaves. And then I put in some chopped Japanese cucumber. Japanese cucumber works better than the normal cucumber because it releases less water. And I also add some halved cherry tomatoes. My family can then top it with eggs, chickpeas, corns, nuts or seeds, all these things available in the pantry. They can eat it on its own or they can use it as a side for any other option that they have in mind. To organize everything, I use these Rubbermaid containers. These come in many sizes, large and small, and I have had this set for a few years now and I wanted to expand the set. Unfortunately, they no longer had it, so I got these instead. These are also Rubbermaid, but it's in a different design. Personally, I think it's pretty amazing. I like that they are clear so we can see what's inside. They are super lightweight and the lids are airtight. I was definitely willing to pay the extra dollar for these because my older set has served us so well. However, when I tried to order a few extra ones in larger sizes, I realized that they were cheaper because they were not rubber made. So be careful when you do purchase these online. Now that I have everything put away, you can see I have maintained a visual so I can see what I need and I know what's in storage and the mini adults can also zero in on what they want. I showed you this refrigerator in the previous video, so it's pretty much the same, except the meats have been marinated and the veggies have been chopped. At any time of the day or night, the mini adults can choose from a variety of ingredients already prepped to cook a meal, be it ramen, pasta, fried rice, whatever they want. Now, we also have another smaller refrigerator, which is our self-serve fridge. This is where the mini adults come to look for ready-to-go food. This is basically the fridge to check out when they are not in the mood to cook. All the leftovers are kept here and so are the sandwich and snack options. I stack these small glass containers with the spreads all together so they can choose what they want. While we generally eat healthy, 
We also eat some pretty unhealthy meals sometimes, so I'm quite strict that everyone has to eat fruit. I chop the fruit and keep it ready, and I keep it visible as a reminder. I do wash the fruit before storing because I want to make sure everything is properly washed and ready to eat. The fruit that is not yet cut is then tucked behind the chopped fruit or kept in the drawer. This way we all know what to pull out. Here is the salad that we chopped and for more excess I also store dressings and jams here. I also have pasta and the rice and my mason jars. I love using these jars with plastic lids in both the refrigerators. These are great for storing liquids and condiments. Now on the door, I'm using these little single serve jars for the flavoured yoghurt. We have strawberry and we have vanilla yoghurt, which my son loves to have topped with granola and the jam I mentioned below. Another thing I like to do is to pre-chop the chilies. Frankly, of late, I have been making a food a little bland because of my dad. And so we all have this urge to add some spice to the meal. And I hate it when someone uses a part of a chilli and the rest ends up in the bin. So I have prepped these bird's eye chilies in soy sauce and I also have some pounded chilies. Now B has a goal to become vegan. So she's testing out different plant-based milk. This rice milk is what she's currently using for her overnight oats, which she is relishing. Below that, we have drinking water and apple cider vinegar. A few weeks ago, we double bought bananas because Paul bought some and I bought some when we were out. So I froze a bunch. So today we decided to bake a banana cake. I must say it turned out delicious. And just by being mindful, by saving that bunch, we actually not just save a bunch of bananas, but we also have cake for dessert. Now this system gives me more time to myself. I get time for self-care and self-development. I have been using Skillshare and it gives a wide option of topics to choose from. They have just about every topic you can want and it is totally flexible. You get a monthly email helping you check out new tutorials and topics as well. And it is very affordable. You get to learn at your own pace and in your own space. My most recent find is how to create spaces in my home to be more calming and easier to maintain. I'm currently following Holistic Interiors by Clear Studios and I'm finding it really helpful. Check out the link in my description box for more details and to get started. Now I'm going to be honest with you and say it before you do. My mini adults work long hours and they don't have proper meal times. They are usually tired or stressed. And we seldom get to have meals together on weekdays, but we really can't help that. So I do try as much as I can to make it easier for them. Some of you might feel I do too much for my grown-up children, but if I can make their life simpler, then as a mom, I'm happy to do what I can. And I start by keeping fresh ingredients ready so they can quickly whip up a meal instead of driving through McDonald's. If you have younger children to cater to, then you might prefer to combine these prepped ingredients into set meals, but those days are over for me. These days, this is how I keep my kitchen running smoothly. Since everyone wants different options, this gives us the options and that's what we need. I really hope this video helps you as much as this system has helped us. Let me know in the comments if you food prep or meal prep. Does it depend on the ages of the children? I'd love to know. 
Thank you for hanging out with me today. And until the next video, this is Ravina saying, happy homemaking.